This video will show you how your clients can book an appointment with Zoom directly onto your calendar, eliminating all the back and forth you normally go through. G-Reminders can be connected to multiple types of web conferencing providers. In order to connect your Zoom account to G-Reminders, you will want to click the photo or initials in the upper right hand corner. Next, you will click on Connected Services. Your connected services, if any, will come up first. Let's click on Available Connectors. Next, we'll click on Zoom. You'll need to authorize a few permissions. And Zoom is now connected to G-Reminders. Next, you will click on Event Types. Now let's click Create My First Event Type. You will want to fill out the following information. Let's pretend we are a financial advisor. The name of the type of event you want your clients to book will be Financial Review. Under Description, for example, you could put your initial review of your financial goals. Under Location, we have a drop-down menu. If you click on this, you can see the optional integrations we have. As you can see, we also support other web meeting providers such as Google Meet, GoToMeeting, WebEx, and others. If you're interested in these, watch our other videos. Let's click on Zoom. Next, you will set up how you want this booked on your calendar. If you have more than one calendar associated with G-Reminders, you will want to choose the calendar that you want to enable bookings on. Next, you can choose a few options. Set the duration of the event and how close to the event time they can book. This here is where we check against calendars for your open availability. If you click here, you will see that we are checking against your default calendars. You can choose just one or all your calendars. You can also set a time frame and days of the week that you want your clients to be able to book time with you. This is where you would adjust it to fit your needs. Note that we will automatically block times where you already have appointments scheduled so there's no overlap. Next are the fields that your client will need to fill out to book an appointment with you. And finally, we have the wording of the event title. Just like in the templates, these are customizable by cutting, pasting, and adding in text. If you want to use this in conjunction with G-Reminders, please ensure the phone number is in the description of the event. Click Create, and you have successfully created your first event type. This screen now shows that you have an event type created. At the top of the screen is the link to your personal calendar. Common ways to share this link is to add it into your emails or add it to your website. Now let's look at what it looks like when your client books. This will be the home page. They'll click on the event that they want to book. And as you can see, the time zones are handled for you in the web browser in the upper right hand corner. Your client will choose a time that they want to book with you. And then they'll fill out their information here. They can choose to have the system remember them or not. And once they click schedule, the meeting has been booked. Once the meeting's been booked, you'll receive a notification in your email. This is what it will look like. And now let's go back to our Google or Outlook calendar and see what it looks like on the calendar. As you can see, the Zoom links are in the invite 
and the customer can use this to reschedule or cancel the appointment. Now let's go back to G Reminders, and you can see that it's been synced, and this is what it looks like on your homepage. That's it. Happy scheduling.